Well, welcome back to Idaho. This thing has made it out here. We've got a little bit of footage from the trip coming out here. It turns out the GoPro Max camera I was using, something with the exposure wasn't quite, quite right. So looking out the windshield of the van is all blown out, but whatever. In the previous video, we were working on getting this thing loaded up on that trailer right there. There is another trailer here. It's not quite big enough. That's known as the green trailer or the death trailer. That thing was built to haul excavators. And the way it was built, the weight distribution of the trailer is perfectly balanced. Turns out you don't really want to do that. That green trailer right there at some point has tried to kill every single one of us over the years. If you put a car or something on there that doesn't weigh 8,000 pounds, because it was made for an excavator. Here, we can adjust our exposure. There we go. See, it's green. But if you put anything lighter on there, it'll just start swaying like crazy. I was towing a, an old Subaru from the 80s on that thing once and I was towing it with my Grand Jeep Cherokee and it got swaying hard enough on the freeway that the back tires on my Jeep started barking and squealing. Um, but yeah, so we borrowed this one. How do we fix this exposure? There we go. You know, my friend was out in Portland for a little bit of work related stuff and then also wanted to tow this back. He was just by himself. So on that sort of trip, it's always nice to have someone else with you. So I followed him out. Wanted to get out of Portland for a little while. Granted, I was just in California recently, but hey, you know, it never hurts to uh, go do stuff. So anyways, let's take a look at the footage from the trip and uh, yeah, stuff and or things. All right, well, I'm all loaded up. Just grabbed some breakfast and coffee and waiting for my friend to arrive out here right next to this truck stop. He's going to get some diesel and then I think we should be ready to go. It's a little bit windy out here today with that trailer and everything, but I don't think it should be too big of a deal. I don't know. We'll see, but uh, yay, road trip. Ooh, the wind. Uh. All right, here we go. <laughs> Got the hay cart axles on the back, all the mini bike stuff, whole bunch of lumber. Yeah, there was a bunch of lumber at the house. So we went ahead and cut that up. So it's roughly about the size we need to rebuild that red wagon thing. Hopefully we drive out of this hazy air. This is disgusting. Anyways, uh, we're gonna get through the gorge here and see how it looks. That's not a good sign. We just lost the trailer tire. Sheesh. We've gone a total of 9.7 miles. Does it look like it was rubbing? Okay, so that's the fourth vehicle we've passed after we replaced our tire. That's the fourth one we've passed that people have been pulled over with flat tires. I don't see anything on the road, but that's kind of crazy for a five mile stretch. There was even a full size uh, mobile crane on a semi trailer that was pulled over too. I don't know what's going on, but uh, apparently this isn't the day for tires. I was noticing that the new tire we just put on was looking a little bit more bulgy, so we stopped to uh, put some air in it. We're using that little Amazon air compressor that I got from the gift list. It was like 32 PSI, so we're gonna run it up a little bit and see. First test of that lithium air compressor, though. We'll see how it works. 
Okay, 10 PSI in 10 minutes, and it looks like the battery is at about 20%. So, yeah. 10, 10 ply trailer tires, uh, one PSI per minute. Ooh, that hose is hot. Anyways, uh, let's get going. Figure they probably want it on the concrete. Right. Yeah, the ones on this side, I didn't see any of that weather checking. Okay. Plus the ones on the other side looked a little more dried out, but. Yeah. Oh, I see, pressure washer. You know, when you're in California, I saw some guy at a stoplight. There was a, like a landscaping truck and someone hopped up at a stoplight and grabbed some stuff off the back of the truck. <laughs> He's on these bolts there. There's trees. Good to go. They're good to go. <laughs> Yeah, you can see where those tabs used to be on the inside there. Yeah, it, 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 you know, it's, it's floppy, but there's a solid hand, and I don't see any marks. Yeah, cool. Which is surprising, even with a blown tire flying around in there. <laughs> yeah, the, the dirt is pristine. The license plate says otherwise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Log Stomper Extreme. <laughs> That's great. The, uh, so Jacob's had many names for the mini bike. That's a fairly good, uh, oh, fairly yeah. good mini bike name, the Log Stomper. The Log Extreme. Stomper, yeah. <laughs> we got a Log Stomper and then Log Stomper Extreme. Yeah. That's two different ones. <laughs> all right, we got all new tires on that trailer now. Got some 14 ply highway tread. Uh, rated for like 110 PSI or something. Anyways, they look a lot better from here now. The old ones were 80 series, these are 85, so it's an ever so wee bit taller, but feel a lot better with these tires on there. Two of the old ones that were on there we're keeping as spares, but hopefully we shouldn't need those. You never know though, <laughs> got a rich history on this drive with blowing tires on all sorts of trailers. <laughs> of course, they're usually pretty overloaded, but this thing is well within spec of its weight rating. It's only a half ton Suburban. So, eh, whatever. Yeah, it looks super stable back here, and yeah, tires look great. I wonder if that's as fast as that little Geo can go, or they're just not in a hurry. <laughs> Man, I forgot how tiny those cars were. Pretty sure that guy's just not in a hurry. I think that's how you get kicked out of the fleet. Yeah, that's probably true. There appears to be traffic getting into the theme park. I guess they're doing some Halloween thing or something. Wait, what day is this? Like the 15th? Yeah, I guess Halloween's coming up. Reminds me of somewhere that I don't want to try and go right now, that's for sure. <laughs> it's easier if you don't. It's easier if I don't. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Sometimes I was getting ready to lift this onto the trailer
Oh, I guess we don't have four wheel drive. Time to get rowdy. There we go. All right. I can't even see the windshield. <laughs> uh. Love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> In Oregon it is. Really? Here there's a few things that have to change though. Like what? Uh, mostly the height of the bumpers. They have to be within like 21 inches of the ground or something dumb. In Oregon, all they cared about was the headlights being within 52 inches of the ground. And you're not supposed to be more than like eight feet wide or something like that. They don't really care about anything there. Here's the trailer that we towed this giant truck out here with. As you can see, it's got some brand new tires on it now. On the way out, he actually stopped and bought these two with the wheels, I think from Walmart or somewhere like that. These are 10 ply, actually what are these things? Uh, 235, 85, 16s. And the trailer originally had 235, 80, 16s. And the tires on the other side looked a little bit weather checked. As you can see, we blew a tire uh, in that footage pretty much straight away into the trip. And, oh, here they are here. Well, the two that were from that side are gone. These are the two that were from this side. Those were all weather checked. I'm probably repeating myself, but anyways. The decision was made that we should just stop and replace them all. And these are nice 14 ply ones. Okay, enough about tires. Well, of course, as soon as I say that, we got the back tires put back on this thing. Um, look, we even have all the lug nuts. How fancy is that? <laughs> Those are the hay cart axles there. Uh, also from the previous video that that red wagon was attached to. And we cut all that stuff off. Made them a little bit easier to manage and we were able to load them on the back of the trailer under the big truck. So there's those things. And then before we left, we cut up a bunch of lumber so we can use this to rebuild that trailer. This stuff was just sitting out in a field. Hadn't gotten rotten yet, but it wasn't ever gonna get used. So wasn't never gonna, whatever, grammar. Here it is, lumber. I drove the old Dodge Intervan out here. And for those of you that are always asking me why it doesn't have plates on it, it is in fact registered. Oregon DMV is still screwed up. Um, there is a uh, tag in the back window, so don't have to worry about that. Um, Forerunner's here. That thing I think needs a clutch or something. Can't remember, but it's not operational right now, which it's going to get down in the 20s here this weekend. So I think we need to uh, at least get some antifreeze back in that thing for now. The plan was to come out here and hang out for maybe about a week or so and be back in uh, lighting. There we go. But the plan was to come out here and hang out for maybe a week or so and be back in Portland this coming Saturday for soccer practice. But as it turns out, the facility we're practicing soccer in is redoing their floors or something. Apparently unrelated to us. I don't know why the floors seem fine, but whatever. So don't really have a time frame at this point. However, this Friday, it's supposed to start raining in Oregon, Washington, and Idaho and not stop for a while. And it's gonna get down into like the 20s here. So I'm thinking I might head back sooner than later, simply because I don't wanna do a five or six hour drive in the rain, especially going through the gorge in Oregon. Um, Usually the policy with the gorge is it has to be light outside and it's preferable not to be raining. It's kind of narrow and windy and all the trucks and other traffic and stuff make things annoying. I did once back in 2001 make the drive from Portland to Post Falls in four hours and 40 minutes. Um, 
you can do the math on that one. I actually got a rental car. It was, uh, I think it was a Chevy Cavalier or something like that. Um, anyways, <laughs> the trip probably would have gone a little bit faster, but if you go over 82 miles an hour in that old 2001 rental car, it would start overheating. <laughs> so um, I'm going to give myself probably, we'll say six hours to get back. I might drive back on Thursday. And if that's the case, um, stopping around three o'clock would probably be a nice break to do the live stream. So I don't really know yet, but it's starting to get cold and rainy and I need to get back to the bus. And if nothing else, before it starts freezing, I've got to, um, what you call it? I got the tanks in the back, so I need to get some sort of uh, five or 10 watt dip style heater in the tank so they don't freeze solid and figure out how to get, well, actually it's gonna be easy. I just need to do it, but get some ventilation pass throughs down into that rear luggage bay so everything doesn't freeze because the water heater and stuff's going in there. So anyways, um, I think that's about it for now. We got all the mini bikes here. Um, the girls are super happy to see those and they've already started working on a couple of them. And I think that's probably it for now. We got some more stuff going on later this afternoon and whatnot, but it's been a little bit busy and I wouldn't say chaotic, but uh, a pleasant change of pace rather than sitting in the bus and staring at reflective bubble wrap that I can't see outside through. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to call that good for now. Uh, thanks for hanging out. And the live stream will be on Thursday. I don't know where. Um, if the time does change, it's not going to be earlier than 2 p.m. Pacific or later than 4 p.m. Pacific. I usually do it at three o'clock, but there may be a little bit of variance there. And if that's the case, what I'll probably do if I do drive back Thursday is create the event and have the chat going. That way I can fill everyone in on the time or whatever. But anyways, we'll make it happen. Um, like I said, it'll be a nice break from a long drive. Okay, my arm's starting to wear out here. I'm just, well, I'm, anyways. I'll see you guys in a few days.